I think it's recording me, so first thing I would do is uh, click the top one here, background copy. And I can see it's not quite aligned perfectly. That's okay. So what you do is you choose difference. And all you do is hit the, uh, the, the, the letter V on the keyboard is the move one. So when you hit V, then you can use your, uh, let me zoom in, you can use your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to try to get it to uh, match, if possible. A little tricky. These scans uh, are slightly askew, and that makes it uh, extra tricky because that means it'll be on point on some and then off on others. Try to do as good a job as possible and not worry about perfection. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can see. Basically, when this aligns, I think that that means other stuff won't be aligned. So you might have uh, some inconsistencies in your scanner. This is pretty common on uh, non-professional scanners. You know, they're, they're, they're great for just everything that your average person um, scans, you know, so photos and whatnot. But uh, when you're talking uh, professional line art, and you, you need a scanner that doesn't have these imperfections. Of course, it's not just the, the uh, scanner. Um, keeping keeping it completely flat, um, sometimes it's a good idea to put something relatively heavy uh, on top of the scan so that um, so they're completely flush and there's no ripples in the paper. So that's probably important too. So. No matter what I do, if it's on in one, it's off on another. So interesting. But the most important thing is this connection here. You won't, This won't be noticed on the right, but up here it will be. So that's pretty good. All right. You can see this area here is the basket. It's a little off, a little off. So it's kind of tricky. Um, yeah. Looks like um, you can fiddle with it and all that, but uh, let's see how close I can make it when I uh, change difference to normal. See how it changes in each one of these? Things? Normal is this one here. And I can see this white. Um, if I invert it, you'll see the that turns to black. And uh, if I select it, the magic wand tool, there's always options. So, best thing is the uh, one that says magic wand tool. Because that one is the, you just tell it uh, contiguous uh, tolerance, maybe 20. And um, I'm going to select this. And then I'll select this. Let's see, there's a little more over here. And that's it. That's um, the only pure white on it, which is uh, from your scanner. Uh, so it's not actually the image. So I just, uh, I usually uh, command shift 
J, and that makes a uh, completely separate layer, just in case um, it's a way I can always undo. I mean, I'm not going to worry about this. There's no way this is a mistake. Nevertheless, um, just a good practice. So I just turn that off, go back here, and invert it again. So now there should be no white, and I don't see anything. You can see it's off a little bit right, right here. So, again, um, you always want to have you know the best alignment you can. Um, so, to fix that, uh, same thing, I would uh, take the this thing here, which is the last two, which is the letter L, so just hit L. Uh, make sure that this is as it is, it's not checked, and no feathering. And uh, you can set to any new selection, but I always like the one here, which is add to selection. So, um, oh, I should say this over. So, um, polygonal is the choice uh, where you can kind of control it, you're not. You know, freehanding it, so it makes for a uh, better selection. So I'm gonna click here, which is off of the thing. I hold down the shift key, and it goes, you know, vertical, diagonal, or horizontal. So if I go here, a little further there, I guess here, straight down, straight across. Right down. Get across. No, no, I'm going up. This point doesn't matter, so I just do that. It, it turns into a little circle. It shows that I'm making a connection to that. So that's it. So this uh, selection here, you can see, I've selected, you know, there's really nothing here that I'm using. And so when I make a cut, which is Command, Shift, J that cuts it out. So just to show you the cutout, man, shift, J. Now I have um, moved it to the separate layer. See, so still there. So this is what I have. This is what I cut out. So um, what I want to do is uh, make it, uh, bring it down a little bit. It's going to create. A, it's going to create a gap. Um, so it will be a gap. So this is selected, and you can see the selection here. So if I zoom in, which is the Z key, you can see. Um, that needs to go down. Now your settings, um, the reason that this is darker, I'm assuming this is um, a cutout from the same so It might be darker because it's aged differently. And these are two separate uh, scans because uh, you don't have an 11 by 17 scanner maybe or more than likely you're, you've got two sources. I mean, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. Um, so if you have two sources, then they'll age differently and one will be darker. Um, but if it is the same source and they're darker, that is because your, your settings are, are, uh, kind of are automated. Um, so scanning is uh, a whole another can of worms uh, from editing. But um, anyways, uh, there's whole college courses in there <laughs> um, on scanning. But um, bottom line is uh, I can move this hit the letter V, and then I can use the keyboard to push it down, down, so I'm going to hit it down, and um, Command H hides on my machine, it's set to hide those uh, things. Another shortcut, um, it's a shortcut which is the same as hitting this uh, eyeball here, see that, it's the uh, same. Um, so if I hit Command, Command H, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Command um, Comma, it moves. 
Now I can see that's a slightly sharper, um, wow, fascinating, but it's down a little much, I think. So, same thing, to find out how we're doing, I choose uh, difference. Hit the letter V, and I can see, again, it's a little bit warped. I'm just trying to find the best, uh, the best set. Um, another thing, um, just to turn it to normal, it seems pretty decent. Um, I can see this is a little bit off here. See this, this stops there, and that's there. Um, just to be a slightly darker printing or more likely to scan. See, it's a little off here. This is tricky. So to compensate for that warpage, <laughs> um, um, what I do is uh, I, if I uh, warped it, I mean I could make I could duplicate this, which is uh, over here, and uh, I would just choose uh, duplicate layer right here. So I could duplicate the layer, and then I would have a copy. So if I, in other words, if I, if I stretch this version, I have a copy that's always uh, handy, untouched. Um, so I'll just do it that way. I think that's a, that's a straightforward way. So I, I, I turn this layer off because I don't, you know, this is the backup. I can say uh, backup to A, give it the letter A. Then I double click on this and call it A. Okay, so there's the A and there's the backup to A. So now that I have A, I can do as I want with it and then make it, you know, make it work. That's a wonderful thing. So it needs to be stretched a little more toward the top. So it seems like everything else is, is all right. So, well, just top and bottom. I could try that. So hit the letter V. Command H, and I can see Command H again. It goes away. It's a toggle switch. So I, I click on, on, on this. And once I click that, I'm in this mode where I can uh, stretch it. I have all kinds of options. Um, now, if I just do this, it's proportional. Automatically is an escape. Automatically is proportional. I don't want proportional. So I, I want to stretch it a little up and a little down. So um, if I hold down the shift key, then I can stretch it up. Uh, oh, not too much. <laughs> stretch it up just a tiny bit. Now I see it's kind of like jumping. So I've got to view and uncheck snap. Because uh, snap, um, you don't want that when you're trying to be precise. Snap is great for you know, layout and all that, but not, for, not for this. Anyways, so I click on this, I hold down the shift key. And that shift key means I can squish it. I can do what I want with it. So I just want this to match up here. And also, I need to stretch a little bit down, just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. That looks good to me. So uh, I hit uh, return. I can command H and hide that again. And uh, now command comma hides the layer that is selected. So that's a layer selected. So it's not too bad. And since I've established that as the baseline, I am uh, manipulating this on the right so that it matches more on the left. <sighs> so, um, 
you can see, um, this and this are, uh, you know, there's this little thing here. So once I remove the yellow and the toning, um, this texture should go away. That's the concept. So right now we're working in color mode. Uh, I could just easily be grayscale mode. Um, that's okay. So I'm not worried about this. Um, this this part. This will go away when it's uh, finished. And this seems to be pretty you know, well matched up. I can see some issues here. So the same thing. Um, this is okay. This is all right. A little, a little mismatched here. So I, really, the whole thing needs to be um, pushed around again. So I'm going to select this. Um, I'm going to cut this out. This time I can use, hit, hit the letter M, and I get the marquee tool. That's this one right here. And uh, select just this bit right here. Okay, so just to show you what I've so I Turn this off. Turn this background off. So this is what I've selected. Um, that's the layer I'm on. So I'm going to cut this. Which is Command J. I'm going to call it B. So I double click. And that's B. I'm going to call it uh, back up to B. So that I can turn off. It's those two of them. Alright, so turn the background on. And uh, same thing. Uh, I turn I turn this layer here B and turn it to difference. You can see only only really here is it really matching up. I should have done this earlier, this is a way to do it. Um, hit the letter V, Command H, now I can see um, these uh, points. Also, the, this thing here, or I can even zoom in on that. Um, show transform controls should be checked. And I like auto select, auto select layer, so make sure that's set there too. And so the object is, is to make this area here and here be more like this here. So it looks like I have to um, stretch it uh, a little bit. So I click on this and um, hold down the shift key. And I'm going to bring it oop, down just a little bit. See how that just right there seems to be accurate, um, but left to right it needs to be stretched just a little bit. And that really, you know, matches up pretty good, but it ain't great. Pretty good. It needs to go down a little bit. Of course, you know, it's, it's much more, um, more complex than just up or down. That's the problem. Maybe it's working. So now that I've done this, th this is a little off. So um, anyways, what, once uh, once the stretching, I held down the shift key so I could stretch it. Otherwise, the stretch is uh, proportional. So I hit return, which uh, finalizes it, and I have this backed up. So you know. This is before, and then change the difference to normal, but this is after. It matches up better. I can see it's a little skewed too, but uh, anyways, I'm probably spending too much time on this. So, um, so this is a little off, but uh, this little bit here. So, um, that becomes very confusing. So here's B, here's A. So you can see um, the A 
needs to be uh, needs to be matched. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, take that. I think um, I take eight. So I need to line these up. So click here. I'm just stretching left to right to make that match. I like it, so I held the shift key down and I hit enter, and there it is. Now it matches it a lot better. Okay, so there we have it. Um, so everything seems to be pretty well aligned, and uh, command zero, command H. So I don't have to see the um, those points. All right, so looks pretty good. So um, next step is to make uh, this. So I can group this. So I click this one here. Hit the shift key and I and I click all the layers and I command G and I make them into a group. Okay, so that is a group. So, you can see right here that um, I still need to uh, kind of bring this down. I get, you know, see, they're not perfectly aligned um, with that. So, at this point, I think I'm just being too persnickety. So, it looks good, it's, it's plenty great. Uh, when I colorized movies for Ted Turner, before um, that same company um, got a Marvel um, Productions contract, I learned that it, it's important not to let perfection be the enemy of good. And so, basically, uh, it, uh, we were told, you know, watch out for time sucks of trying to fix something that is imperceptible to the eye. So. This is kind of in the realm of imperceptible. If I turn on the um, if I turn on the uh, these are the uh, rulers, which is Command R. So Command R, they go away. Let's see this part here. V, you can move um, this. The letter V. You can see that it's pretty close. Pretty good. You did a good job. It's a little off, but you know, right here it's. Okay. So I don't think I have to worry about making that perfect. And when you move this with the with the V key, chooses this. This is the V key right here. Um, with that, when you when you mouse over these, you can move them. You hit the uh, option key. They suddenly go vertical. Look at that. So, uh, but when you move them off screen right here, they disappear. They're gone. So again, I like to Command H to uh, remove it. Okay, so this is step one. Since these are color scans, um, uh, this this uh, similarity is right there. So here's what I like to do. Um, again, I like to uh, this is all the layers are here in this group. So I like to uh, over here you can just do this duplicate group. Okay, and I give it the same name. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So I've got two groups. I turn this group one off. Then um, you can go here. You can choose. Um, merge group. Right here, which is command. So now this everything is everything is still editable here, backed up into there. But now I've got a group I can work with. Okay. So uh, once you have uh, these two groups, the job is to um, work on removing the yellow. And so um, what I would do is turn same thing. Oh, I got to make a duplicate of this too. So which is duplicate um, duplicate layer. So this becomes instead of a background, it becomes a layer. So, there. So, uh, the 
let's see. Um, let's see this filter. Um, you can uh, command option U. That makes it uh, gray tone, gray scale. So that is now gray. See, still got the color one backed up. Anyway, so, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. Command, Option, Command, Shift U. No, Command Shift U. Or, like I said, Command Options. Command Shift U. And it's gray tones. Of course, they still don't match. And um, that's okay. So uh, I'm going to make them uh, match pretty good now. So um, now that I have these two, I can go Command L for levels. So this is still RGB. Um, still should work. So the concept is to um, remove the gray. So this whole thing here, curve, represents uh, the black. This represents the middle. And this way over here is a little tiny bit of of pure white, which is just almost none of it in there. So the, the goal is to um, the goal is to uh, make this thing on the left match on the right. So um, so step one is um, I'm working on this one here, this right side. So everything on the right side here is what I'm going to change the color on. So or change the gray on. Change the tones. So we want crisp whites and nice blacks. We don't want to lose uh, the detail, which is some of the middle tones, some of the detail. So if I take what's white now and move it to the right, it's basically saying um, saying this uh, this middle thing is now it was middle tone, and now I'm saying make it all white. This is tricky, so I'm going to cancel this and uh, zoom in so we can see the detail. That's what's great about having a big old monitor. This is a 27-inch iMac. It's, a, um, I think it's 6K? Something like that. Um, it could be 5K. I really can't remember. Anyways, it's got a lot of pixels here. Um, and so now if I hit Command-L, which is Levels, um, I've got a, a better view of the, of the detail. And I can still zoom in. Forget about that. I can still zoom in like this. So if I uh, move this, now this on the right says there's just a tiny bit of white in this. So the second I move this, I'm telling the computer that the gray tones, these gray tones here, are the, are the gray, you can see it's, it kind of represents a percentage of your uh, image. These things are. So, um, when I move this to the left, it's telling the computer to turn the gray, which is useless detail, into pure white. So you can see it goes all the way over. We start to lose some of the some of the um, detail. And some people like just do this, and they, they're having. It. I'm not. So but then now I'm going to say this area here. Um, is some of the uh, middle tones now. So you can see that there's, there's middle tones that weren't really there. If I move this to the right, then those uh, values darken. Now this is the same thing. Uh, things that are considered black, there's, there's nothing here that's pure black. But the second I move it over here, then things are. So you basically we're going to get quite a lot of, uh, of these things here. See the little dots? <sighs> um, so I move it a little more to the left, and you see some of those go away. Um, the lines aren't as smooth, but it gets rid of a lot of um, a quick preview. Here's before, and here's after. Before after. 
So the vast majority of the detail is still there. If I zoom out, you can see I'm still I still have some issues with some stuff up here. So I move the middle one to the left, those should go more away. Still have a little more leeway here. Same thing. This little preview thing is, is uh, pretty handy. Middle, to the right. You see some of the dark, you know, bits get a little better, and it's not too bad. There's still some stuff to get rid of here. See, that ain't bad, not bad at all. The problem is um, there's some unevenness in the scan in the uh, yellowing. That, uh, so um, if you hold down the um, space bar, this turns into a hand. See the hand, and uh, so you can kind of see there's going to be an issue right here. And that's okay. It's, it's uh, out of the so we can uh, put some chunks of white over that to make that easy. Anyway, so that's it. Um, that's the main uh, part of it. And you can see um, it's very important to look over the whole darn thing and really look, you know, click preview, move this around, click preview. And it's pretty decent. That's it. Looks great. So that's um, in, input numbers two. So we have 87, 0 0.0189. 0 um, but I don't really, I don't, I've tried numbers. I try to automate it and I found that that, uh, that works when there's massive consistency um, in scanning and this and that. We don't really have that here. So I am going to. Maybe zoom a little more here. This is not Well, that seems pretty good. All right, I'm going to hit OK. And so Next step it is to go to this um, command L and the same thing. Bring it all the way to the right. It's a little darker. 
But yeah, so this was all tricky. But you can see how much tricky it is. Uh, it's a little darker here. You can see all this stuff here to make it match. And we're losing some stuff here. This you can definitely see. We don't want to lose lines. So here's a click on preview. These are very fine lines, but they're, they're, they shouldn't be lost. So definitely losing too many lines. So let's bring this back. So what I what I'm going to do um, is. I like this, and this I'll redo. It's very simple. All I have to do is, is make a duplicate of group one and, and uh, turn that into a single image and then and then put just this section here. So I would select that and I would just uh, do that. So that's what I'll do. So the first panel I'm going to not worry about. I'm just going to worry about this other panel. So preview. see any fine lines I'm really losing. So I'm just darken it a little bit. Okay, so looks good. Uh, there's some stuff on top there. Hold on. So rid of that. Back a little more. So check it out. It's pretty reasonable. It looks good. Great. So I'll hit OK. So the concept is um, this I'm going to redo separately. So I'm going to um, make another copy of the background. Turn this off. Turn this on. The goal is to. Uh, Command Shift U makes it pure grayscale. Removes all color. So I don't care about this on the right, so I only care about the left. So the marquee selection is the letter M. I just clicked on it. So this is my goal is to um, well really I just do this entire half. So this entire half is slightly darker, so it needs a different name. So um, I'm going to command J. Just this one. I don't need this anymore. Um, so this layer can go above it. So this is the inferior first panel. I'm going to make it superior. So command. Uh, oh, and I can just delete um, this background copy here. See this cap. This is the uh, duplicate of this. I made great though. Um, so just uh, here, you can choose delete layer. So here's what worked on the second panel. Go back here, and here's the first panel which I didn't fix. Okay, so. Uh, zoom in. See it. Command L for levels and do the same thing. I'm going to do something different, so it's going to be you know, some of the same. So I'm going to do this and this. It's a little tricky. So same thing. Um, So this corner is, uh, you know, more yellowed. I could just fill that corner. So for me to do this, I kind of lose um, 
this. So I'm going to cancel, and there is, uh, if you hit the letter O, you get, um, I usually turn caps lock off so I can see um, the circle. Then I can use the bracket keys, which is right above the right return key. There's bracket left and bracket right, so bracket right makes it the brush larger. So what I'm going to do is, you can see this, this is, there's some issues here with registration. You know, it, it wasn't the best printing for that particular section. It's okay. So, um, so it's set for midtones and exposure. So I'm going to go for you know, I'll try midtones. But if I click on midtones, you can see it gets it, and I can kind of do a better job now just on that. And maybe down here too. Okay. So basically, I'm trying to. Um, I'm undoing it. So redo, redo, then maybe I'll make this more like 25 right to have that. So now I think if I uh, use the levels, command L, I'll have a better result. So we go here and move this here. This looks good now, and I still maintain the majority of this, but it's a little tricky. So I bring this in, and it looks like I need to, it's kind of the left side of the box. I'm cancel. I'm going to do a little work here. And I think that um, now when I command L, I'll have a better result. Bring it in here. Over here, send the preview off on, meaning the vast majority of the details. Looks good. Okay, so I hit OK. So here's before. And it was, you know, you can't, that's unacceptable, and here's after. And, you know, you can uh, then, if you want to, uh, I usually make a, uh, a blank layer, you can call it cover. And uh, I use the brush. Well, you don't have to use the brush, you just do the selection. So, um, you hit M for marquee, and I can make selection. So, here's the selection here. And it's on, if I click on this, it's on the additional. Now, now it's adding to the selection because of this. So I'm adding some selection here. I'll zoom in here. Yeah. So basically, so basically, um, I'll be covering. Uh, stuff up with uh, white. I'm going to fill it with white. I need to see what I'm doing here. So. And this is a cut mark, so that's not part of the thing. This removes the cup mark entirely. We're just trying to keep it on the top of the top. So, same thing here. Bring it over here. The mid. And go. And that's it. That was a. Hit the letter, and here's something. So when I hit the letter, hit the letter D. Make sure that this is pure black and that's pure white. And then I hit the letter X, and then I have white as my fill. So if I choose the paint bucket, this here, which is also K, letter K. Oh, 
No, nope, they made that. They made a change. My bad. <laughs> I uh, said the letter G is picked up. Okay. I got it wrong. Sorry. Many years. Okay, so I hit the letter G, and you get the paint bucket. So now um, it says foreground, which is this thing here. Um, I can choose you know, pattern or whatever. Anyways, um, opacity 20%. You don't need to have an alias. Color to zero. And now when I when I click, um, it's all white. So that uh, something you can do. And you can you know choose a, a, a B for brush and um, I'm painting with white too. Um, I have to command D deselect and then paint with white. There's anything like that. Really, you, you can do that. Um, you can fiddle with it, but you know it's, it looks great. I, don't, I think it's perfect for that. Hopefully uh, enough information that uh, you can pick some movie on that. But um, that's it. And I will uh, save that. I will save the version. So on the downloads, I will call it uh, dash Dave dash demo. There you go. And uh, that's it. Hit save. And there it is. Huzzah!